Welcome back. It is one of the most traumatic experiences a family can have, and yet for so many people whose babies are stillborn, there is a stigma that makes it difficult to see seek the support they need. In 2014, there were more than 3,500 stillbirths in the UK. Around a third of babies die after a full-term pregnancy. And in around a third of cases, the cause of death is described as unexplained. But a new documentary explores the difficulties that many couples face. In a moment, we'll be talking to its director. First, here's a look. Many of you are facing your first Christmas without your baby. I remember only too well just how painful and challenging that first Christmas is. And my heart goes Debbie out. Howard, who produced and directed the documentary, joins me now. Hi, Debbie. Hi. What prompted you to, to want to make this? Um, two friends of mine had lost babies a few years ago, and I, I'd never really encountered anything to do with baby loss at the time. And it really struck me the massive impact that that had on them for a long time, you know, afterwards. And... Um, and I started to look into it uh, when I was writing a short film that I made before Still Loved about this issue. And I was deeply shocked and amazed at the um, very high statistics of baby loss, mm. but also this complete wall of silence around this issue, this massive stigma. So there's a huge gap between how prevalent it is. I mean, it's not very common, but it's, it happens to mm. a significant number of people. And then the number of people who are talking about it, which is not very many at all. No, exactly. And, and it is actually a lot more common than people realise. Yeah. Um, you know, with one, and four, one out of four pregnancies ending in loss, that includes all kinds of loss. But that's actually very high statistics. So tell me how you then went about making it. And what, did, you must have incur, uh, gone through some difficulties in mm -hmm. getting it made. It's been a real challenge. Um, the stigma around baby loss has also applied to the film. And... Uh, you know, we've had a lot of uh, difficulties convincing people that it's a film that needs to be made, that there's an audience for the film, uh, and that, you know, it is a very relevant film, a uh, topic for a documentary because it's never been looked at before, really. And we've uh, been screening the film at various cinemas throughout the UK during October for Baby Loss Awareness Month. Mm. And, you know, we've had an incredible response. We've had sold out screenings or very full screenings and really great an, feedback. An incredible response, a moving response. I mean, what kind of emotions are people uh, experiencing having seen the film? I mean, it's, you know, it's a very tough watch. I didn't want to make a film about this issue and then sugarcoat it or hide it away. Yeah. So we really stay with the families and the journey that they go on over a three year period. And, um, you know, it is difficult, but it's also quite an uplifting and heartwarming film by the end of the of the story. And I know you're keen for it not to just be seen in cinemas, but for people to be able to watch it at home mm. on television. That's something you're pushing for now, for yeah. a broadcaster to show it or for it to be uh, made available online or streaming service, perhaps. Mm -hmm. But just one final broader question. Should there be more documentaries looking at those those really difficult questions that a lot of us just do not want to confront. I think that's the job of documentaries. And, you know, and there's many amazing documentaries out there that are doing exactly that. And I think it's, you know, f filmmakers have to be brave when they're tackling these kinds of issues because they are things that people would rather not think about. But if we don't look at them, there can't be awareness which, w which will lead to p less babies dying in the future and better care for those that have lost a baby. All right, Debbie, many thanks indeed for coming Thank you. In.